Uh, what's up y'all, BBQ Dropout here. So if y'all are wondering like how long it'll usually take a brisket to go from about 160 or 150 to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit in internal temperature, um, just know that you know, there's really no way to kind of estimate that regardless of how hot or how low you decide to be cooking your brisket at. Um, outside of being able to kind of tell how long the overall total time it will take for the brisket to go from zero to 100 or to 200 in terms of being completely done. So what I mean by that is if you're trying to specifically figure out how quickly you can go from 160 to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, I can't really give you an exact estimate outside of the fact that um, I would certainly expect the temperatures to start increasing sort of exponentially, especially after you come out of the stall portion of the cook, which is right after about 175 degrees Fahrenheit. So between 160 and 175 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on whether or not you wrap it or not in butcher paper or maybe even like foil or something, um, expect about like two to three hours for that time frame. Uh, between those two temperatures and then from 175 degrees Fahrenheit maybe budget about like another two hours or so um, it's going to be significantly less amount of time um, after 175 degrees Fahrenheit to reach a done temp of around 200 degrees Fahrenheit for your brisket um, and again these are just kind of you know ballpark estimates but just know generally speaking that uh, briskets will flatline in internal temperature from 160 to 175 for a period of like two to three hours. That's the stall portion of the cook. And then after it's done with the stall, then the internal temperature is going to start rising exponentially until it's basically done. Um, so that's kind of like, I guess, my approach to it. And really all you have to focus on, in my opinion, is when you pull the brisket at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, you want to be able to grab a toothpick and then start inserting it all throughout the meat and only at that point uh, would I consider a brisket to actually be done and actually consider it to be ready to be pulled off the smoker for like further resting. So anyway, so hope you guys thought that was helpful and I'll catch you on the next one.